control that with this. So, yeah. Let's get some weird ass, like, wicked, uh, synth patch. Libraries. Okay. Lost Boys 3. <laughs> there you go, yeah. So, you know, I've done it enough that, like, I know how to hack, like, a basic spooky little whatever groove or whatever. But anyway, okay, so check this out. So you can stop this. That's, like, um, I forget what the, uh, composer mode. Then there's, like, this song mode where you can, like, write your motherfucking song. Um, oh, yeah, so check it out. This is... So basically, you can sequence out an entire song of the parts that you've been making. Anyway. So, yeah. Wait, layer that again? Yeah. And now, this guy here. And it's kind of corny because like we're doing it like with no thought to it whatsoever. But, sure. Um, so this is MIDI out for this, right? Okay. We're gonna flip MIDI in. Oh yeah, uh, this fucking thing. All right. So yeah, this. Oh, oops, sorry. Don't apologize to me, it's not mine. Yeah. So, I can think I made it worse. Now, <coughs> go to like make this MIDI. So that's not on the right channel. Um, maybe. You know, there's people that work with like fucking DAWs. They, they would uh, think I'm just like. A total Luddite for this but all right cool there we go so yeah this is now controlling that right and I can like So it doesn't like <laughs> yeah. you know, it sounds like uh, video game music. It sounds yeah, like, yeah, totally. Okay, Ghosts and Goblins to Castlevania. That's what I could. This could be on a Castlevania. <laughs> So this could be like, just like, basically like a pad, right? And you just, you add this to it for a little whatever character. But, um, Sloney, your heart out. <laughs> 
So yeah, you can compose with this too. And it's kind of like, I got it so that whenever I was like uh, playing guitar, I can keep a tempo, have a beat. Like this beat is the, the dumbest, dipshittiest beat uh, you know ever. But you can make more useful beats. Like, and you can like, yeah, you can like mute. That's gonna kind of see. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not much of a symbols guy myself, so I would mute that. And like slow it down a little bit. That's more my shit right there. filter album. somebody like Mozart would do with access to this net and like oh, man. he said you can just turn knobs yeah, you can yeah. just I'm gonna just like think it all in my head yeah exactly oh also so like alright so we're doing this This is all chaotic. Like analog's chaotic, you know. It's like, like you could never have the same thing here. Oh, so it can send CD out. So like voltage out from this. So what I can do? Uh, as an input, it's uh, a pitch. So now, it's being controlled by MIDI and the voltage coming from this. So it's getting two uh, control sources. And, uh, yeah. So, you can control it that way. This, I usually use this as my main source. It's like a light, right? It is. 
Oh man, the fucking coolest thing though. Check this out. Uh, this is this is what sold me on it. All right, so this is like one bar, right? Watch this. Okay. Um, so now, so that's, that's zooming in to this, oh, wow. and this is zooming. Well, I can't zoom out, but I can zoom in. So I can I can repeat this pattern. Okay, so that's just double what I had, copied onto it. And I can zoom out. So that's on eighth notes. It was on sixteenth notes. Oh can, wow, that's a, yeah. And you can zoom in thirty second notes, sixty fourth notes. You can keep doing this, and you can get like really fast ass beats. Yeah. So once you learn like the the way this interface works, you're just off to the races. And uh, I swear by it. Like, this is basically just like a mindless jam, but like, you can make really cool stuff uh, just as easily if you have a if you have a song idea in your head. If you got chords, you're working out the chords on guitar, and you want that playing in the background while you're working out a lead right. riff, you right. can just do a, uh, an easy ass like beat. And then put the chords in here, and even though it sounds a little cheesy, you've got the chord progression going while you're playing guitar. So, yeah. It's pretty round. A thousand bucks well spent. It is. It's, I mean, uh, and I like, I did a lot of research. Like, what can I get the most for my money in terms of, like, I want a drum machine, I want synths, I want options, I want, like, to be able to, like, put it in a system and can use it as a controller. And that by far and away, this is what stood up above the, above, the, above the pack. It's made in New Zealand, and like you can't even buy it from like a distributor. You can't buy it from music. You have to buy it directly from this company. Um, wow. You have to order, and they ship it from New Zealand. Uh, it's crazy. brilliant. Oh, and they're always coming up with firmware updates with new things that you can do. You can sample with this, like you can record shit in. And like slice up the sample and like line it up with beats and stuff. Like you can do basically anything uh, that's been thought of in terms of music production. Now, some would argue, well, there are maybe others that sound better. That's fine, but like for me, where I'm at my game, I just want a lot of power. I want to be able to do a lot of different things for the different ideas. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, 